Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we have here a Shurcom S11 high sensitive field strength meter. And I just recently purchased this on Amazon for about $40. And this is a active device. In other words, it has a amplifier in it and it is a very sensitive amplifier. So sensitive that it picks up all kinds of uh, RF signals in the neighborhood. And uh, for some of you who have purchased these, I've seen some complaints about it being too sensitive um, and not practical for close-up use. Some people say they want to, you know, take their HT and, you know, take a look at the signal coming out of the HT and they can't, they can't hold the HT very close to it because it pins the meter. And you'll notice it does have a sensitivity control. The problem with this control is that when you turn it all the way down, it still is very sensitive. It doesn't go to cut off, which is kind of disappointing to me. But uh, otherwise, it's a very nice meter. I've never had anything, like I said, this sensitive. It's for uh, use in measuring uh, RF field intensity, primarily used for tuning of antennas and uh, even slightest radiated signals, RF signals it can detect. So there may be some uses that I haven't uh, become familiar with yet. But I do acknowledge that it is extremely sensitive. And so what I wanted to do is uh, uh, put in a little switch here that's on top to increase or decrease the sensitivity. You can see it goes to maximum or minimum. So what it's doing is instead of taking the signal from the antenna, I can throw the switch down to minimum sensitivity. And uh, inside, whoops, and inside I have uh, put a little antenna, that little white piece of wire is uh, an alternate antenna to help it uh, not be so sensitive. And you can see it goes to the switch and it goes to one of the poles contacts on the switch. And the one on the middle goes to the, uh, the circuit board. And then the other goes to the antenna, the outside antenna. So we're just switching back and forth between the outside antenna and the inside antenna, which does reduce the sensitivity when you're when you're using this little antenna here. Um, how I made it was that I, I, I cut the antenna lead that was going from the circuit board up to the uh, antenna socket. I cut it, trimmed it back and uh, resoldered it to the switch and took the other piece and resoldered it to the switch. Be careful if you decide to do this. This is coaxial cable. It has very, it's very, very small coaxial cable and it uh, can be easily damaged uh, in the process of stripping the wire off. So you wanna just be mindful of that. It's not, not a solid piece of wire, uh, but this, this piece here is solid, solid piece of wire. So I'm going to demonstrate it and we'll see how well it works here. Let's, let's turn it on. And there we go. It has a little USB receptacle so that you can charge that uh, lithium ion battery that's inside. So starting with the sensitivity control all the way down, uh, and I'm gonna put it on maximum. So we're operating off this antenna. I'm not gonna raise the antenna because it is very sensitive. Sensitivity all the way down. Let's take uh, the HT here. Okay, let's take the HT on two meters and uh, we'll give it a try. I'm gonna get kind of far away here uh, with it over onto my right. There we go. There's a hundred on the meter. And that's with the sensitivity control turned all the way down. Now that's that's pretty, pretty sensitive. Now, if you don't like that, you can come up here, turn the switch to minimum sensitivity, and we'll go back and try it again. And there it is, it's very low. So I'm gonna bring the rig, the radio over closer. Okay, so there we go. Now we can get it much closer, a reasonable distance. There we go. And if we raise the antenna, of course, it will, uh, it'll get more sensitive and I'll have to uh, uh, hold the radio further away. Uh, one thing it can do, we'll turn it all the way up here. It can measure RF coming from, I'd say here, my garage door opener. Whoa, there we go, garage door opener. And that's on minimum sensitivity, by the way. If I put it on max, 
Well, I gotta hold it way back. Same thing with my key fob for my car. Whoa, they're very, very sensitive. There we go. And we can put it on minimum sensitivity and get a little closer. Okay, so that's the reason why I put the, the switch in. Surecom does make a another unit like this without the uh, amplifier in it. Kind of what I'm more used to is uh, non-amplified uh, meters. Oh, there you see something going on right there now. That's a signal. I have no idea where it's coming from. Let's see. Let's raise the antenna. Yeah, that's a signal. I'm not sure where that's from. But I've walked the neighborhood with this thing, and I pick up signals all over the place. And I think it's a lot of uh, wireless routers. Uh, I have an ONT that's an uh, uh, optical network terminating device not too far from me. It may be picking that up also. Also, it will pick up your cell phone uh, signal really easy. <laughs> it really easily picks that up. So just be careful. Uh, like I say, if you buy one of these, operate it with the sensitivity all the way down. And actually, you might want to put the antenna all the way down uh, when you're making your first measurements. And uh, if you put the switch in, put it on minimum sensitivity. So just to look at the instruction manual now, um, let's see what the specs are on it here. Okay, it is uh, very broadbanded, 100 kc to 3 gigs. That's pretty good band uh, width. Uh, it has that 3.7 uh, volt lithium ion battery and um, comes with a USB cable and the antenna, telescoping antenna and uh, the instruction manual here. So let's turn the manual to the block diagram. And here's the block diagram. And you can see when you saw inside, it's much more complex than this block diagram. But basically you have a diode network, rectifier network, C2 is a filter. There's an op amp to a meter and you have the gain control, lithium ion battery and the uh, lithium ion controller. And, so, and sensitivity wise, here's the uh, graph for that curve. And it shows that uh, we're down into, oh, about 40, almost 41 in some places, 41 dB. And that is, uh, that's, that's pretty good, <laughs> pretty sensitive. So if you have a use for a sensitive meter like this, um, that's the way to go. Okay, thanks for watching. And uh, any questions or comments, please leave them below. And as always, please subscribe. And thank you for watching. 73s, everyone.